what is up people another day another video and uh, this time i think we should take a look at the uh, fit tuber and his detox video it's this one right here where he says he's got a picture of the liver and he says clean it um, and now that i see his thumbnails i'm very skeptical of his title and thumbnail methods i think it's kind of because he has uh some established trust with the audience that this sort of works anyway let's talk about what detox generally is we've sort of heard uh, the idea of detox being sold uh, on many pseudoscience and misinformation health pages uh, and detox is basically a myth what what does detox usually tell you it uh, tells you that you have these substances you have these juices you can remove toxins from your liver and say your kidneys the fun fact is that it's your liver and kidneys that do the detoxing of your body you cannot detox your liver or your kidneys you eat a toxic substance it goes to the liver through the portal vein and it gets metabolized in the liver so over millions of years when our bodies evolved we've evolved in such a way that we have an inbuilt mechanism of processing anything that the body doesn't recognize including toxins and that is through the liver so you drink alcohol that's a toxin the body doesn't need it goes to the liver it gets metabolized in the liver you eat some inorganic i know some metal or something for example i think the greatest example is probably mercury you eat heavy metal like that it will go to your liver if your liver gets overloaded of course your liver is going to fail so that's how the body processes toxic substances and there's a huge myth regarding the whole of detox before i watch the video i think i should uh, share something about detox so this is harvard health i think you can't see it there yeah harvard health and uh, yeah the article is called the dubious practice of detox so check it out later when you have time i just showed you what to look up but uh, or you can pause the video and read this is the thing detox itself is a myth so let's now get to the video and see what he says mind you i have not watched the video so my reaction is fresh so let's see what he's saying in this video i'm going to share with you a practical full day diet plan which will help you detox your body detox is a myth oh detox ke chakkar mein bhooka mat maar dio no this isn't any fad diet but a well balanced meal plan based on ayurvedic principles to bring those so again when anyone says the the advice they're giving is based on ayurveda uh, according to ayurveda or anything when they use ayurveda to justify that remember that ayurveda is thousands of years old it's based on ideas that people back then thought actually work there's no real research behind it there's only basic trial and error and the problem with trial and error basic trial and error is that we don't account for biases we don't account for fallacies we don't account for uh, probability we don't account for uh, the scientific method anywhere in there and that leads to very poorly designed trials where uh, the results are simply unreliable so that's a problem with ayurveda it's a pseudo science I've said this multiple times in multiple videos all my audience would know but you can just watch those videos to get more details but briefly this is it those toxins out from the body so without any further delay let's get started Hello friends welcome to Fit Tuber when a water pipe gets choked with unwanted matter the water pressure reduces similarly if your body is not clean within it cannot work water pressure reduces now there is a law in physics where if the if the pipe is constricted the water pressure actually increases not pressure i should say velocity of water molecules coming out like that's why when you when you're in your garden watering your plants if you close the mouth of the pipe with your thumb the water jets out much faster and you've used that you've sprayed all your plants by uh, closing the mouth a little bit with your thumb right that's what's happening so you're blocking the amount of area available for the water to exit and the the water comes out at higher velocity and i'm assuming that means higher pressure although i have to look at the physics of this anyway here from what he said i'm assuming 
the body uh, if there are blockages in the pathways of whatever fluids are in your body i'm assuming that actually increases and not decreases the pressure at its optimum level tiredness junk food cravings dull skin digestive issues and disturbed sleep are the signs that your body needs a cleanse on the flip side when the body gets rid of the accumulated waste inside our digestive system works better you feel full of energy skin begins to glow hair gets better weight loss now i'm not saying that what he is about to prescribe does not have any effect on the body sure it might have positive effects but that despite the fact that it's not based on science not because of it uh, and like he's probably going to prescribe some things that are actually beneficial that doesn't take away from the fact that detox itself is a dubious practice cross plateau breaks and a natural calmness resides within you you must be wondering how do these toxins get and one more thing uh, a lot of these is the placebo effect or unless you do proper research that can actually identify this difference in a placebo group and medicine group you can't attribute all of this to the method or the medicine or the treatment itself accumulated at the first place bad food choices prolonged usage of medicines sleep deprivation and environmental pollutants are some of the causes of toxic build up but don't worry our body is well equipped to push these toxins out provided we create the right environment and that's what this video focuses at i'm going to show you exactly what you should eat in a day when you feel like detoxing your body so let's begin See, drinking water, nobody is gonna say that's bad, but he's gonna prescribe a lot of things that are genuinely beneficial, I'm sure. But the method of detox is what is dubious. Just after waking up, you need to drink one to two glasses of hot water. Irrespective of the weather, I recommend that you drink hot water, especially when you want to speed up the detox process. When you drink hot water, body temperature raises, which activates the complete body system, and you are able to evacuate your bowels easily. So, if you eat or drink something hot, your average body temperature might go up temporarily, but your overall body temperature cannot be increased by. So by substances it's controlled by uh, the hypothalamus in your brain drinking hot water doesn't increase body temperature for breakfast i am having a big bowl of pomegranate now this might be a difficult fruit to eat but it's worth the effort not only it's tasty and filling but it's well known for its detoxifying properties three times more antioxidants than green tea it's the seed of the pomegranates which help cleanse the undigested matter in the gut you can choose any other seasonal fruit as well don't mix choose any one i mean on the outset these are not bad eating fruit eating uh, pomegranate seasonal fruits that's fine those are genuinely good advices if you prefer drinking for breakfast you can have spice chana sattu rich in protein it will keep you full for long it's lunch time and for lunch i'm going to have millet khichdi why millets you may ask no doubt millets are a super grain but more importantly most of us are used to eating either wheat or rice now since our goal is to detox it will be greatly supportive if you choose a grain which you are not used to eating daily which is why millets you can choose any millets i have used foxtail millets a lot he didn't give any logic behind that like how is it beneficial for detoxing if uh, you eat something you're not used to what's the logic with green moong dal Make sure that you use whole green moong dal to make the khichdi. There is no rocket science in making khichdi, but of course there is a science why this complete source of protein is detoxifying and light for. Well, vegetarian sources of protein are not complete. I don't know why he's calling it complete. So, a complete source of protein is one that has all the necessary amino acids, all the essential amino acids that we need. Vegetable source of protein are not complete. They can be made complete by complementing it with other vegetables which make up for the lacking in the amino acid profile of this vegetable. That vegetable will make up for it. But uh, when you take a single uh, vegetable it is not complete for the system if you wish you can even add a few vegetables while making the khichdi 
although if you are looking for another option for lunch one chapati along with a big bowl of lokki sabzi or turai sabzi can be eaten both these vegetables are known to eliminate detrimental free radicals from the system avert oxidative damage to skin tissues and purify the blood i know fetiver the avert kinds of claims he makes I wouldn't be surprised if this is all bullshit. Creative damage to skin. But okay. Skin tissues and purify the blood. See, I would appreciate it if you make such claims with relevant sources in the description. Now, I have not looked at the description yet, but I'm very sure he wouldn't have listed any of it. Okay. Let's see. Yep. Buy the stuff. Sponsors. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, where to buy all these foods? but no actual source it's 5 pm and it's time for an evening snack when it comes to snacking nothing comes close to fruits which is why i am having jamun it's in season the humble jamun is highly effective in purifying the blood although you can choose any other fruit as well apple how is any little any fruit helping you with detox is an option you can even combine some soaked and peeled almonds along a handful of raisins soaked in half a glass of water is another amazing option eat the raisins and drink the delicious water raisins not only provide strength to the body tissues but also helps get rid of constipation although i am happy having jamun today so let me enjoy these and i'll see you for the next meal of the day which is dinner It's dinner time and for dinner we will keep it light. I am having tomato soup along with a handful of roasted makhana. In dinner it is paramount that we do not burden the system with food. So soups are the We're best. We done with You can even have mixed veg. We done with most of the video and see to be honest none of this advice seems bad. I mean eat fruits and vegetables and unprocessed foods is what he's saying and uh, 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 by looking at what he's suggesting I don't see any red flags. I don't see any reason to be concerned from what he's saying but calling this detox is problematic. Number one, it tells people there is such a genuine thing as detox. No, there isn't. And two, you will eat all this thinking you are detoxing your body but in fact any toxins in your body will be removed by the liver and kidneys provided it's a toxin they can handle in the right dosages and those parts of your body are healthy but you can eat all this and i don't think it does anything to detox your body you will feel you are getting your toxins from your body removed but it's not because of this vegetable soup just make sure that you keep it very simple don't add corn starch or anything like that it beats the purpose when you slowly drink hot soup it will easily satiate your hunger however if this isn't enough for you then another option for dinner is a bowl of lokki sabzi or turai sabzi you already know why we are pressing on these two vegetables one more option can be a bowl of dal although avoid you yeah bottled god juice isn't the healthiest thing in the world consuming bottled god juice may lead to severe poisoning yeah back to the video using heavy lentils like black urad moong and matki are better but this soup looks delicious isn't it it's light healthy and tasty exactly what we need after dinner there is one more thing that you need to take which will take your detox diet to the next level wait for it So it's about 9 p.m. and I'm going to have one fourth glass of lukewarm water with Shit, half a teaspoon man. of trif. Yeah, I don't trust any Ayurveda meds after what I've seen and what I've heard. I've actually seen the lab results of of patients that have had liver injuries from eating all this untested Ayurvedic stuff. And the problem with Ayurveda is that it's not regulated, and whatever laws do exist, allow it to come onto the market without being tested for safety, without showing a safe a test for efficacy, without any of that. Trifla powder mixed in it. Trifla made using three powerful fruits: amla, harad, and bahira. It's an Ayurvedic wonder for detoxification and rejuvenation. Especially when taken before bed, it acts as a laxative, emptying the accumulated waste with force the next morning. 
Now it's important that you sleep well so that the housekeeping workers in your body get a proper chance to work and get rid of the dead waste lying in your system. So good night. Now just one day of this detox diet is effective in pushing out the toxins from the body. Although if you want you can extend this diet for another day or two. If we quickly recap just after you wake up drink 1 to 2 glasses of hot water. After getting freshened up drink cumin coriander yeah. fennel tea. For breakfast Damn. have trifla powder mixed in lew works the best once the detox diet. Any rejuvenating herb works the best once the system is clean within. Talking of rejuvenating herbs, if you are looking for a genuine Shilajit in the Indian market, yeah. sponsor after this point. But yeah, that's the thing. Um, detox is a myth. You cannot detox your body with a substance. You have internal organs that can detox your body. Um, and yeah, but uh, in general, the advice given in this video, I don't see. severe red flags except that bottle god thing that i showed you but other than that this advice seems okay uh, to think of it as detox is what is problematic but i wouldn't expect anything less from fitiva i'll see you in the next one